Hey guys, what's up? It's Prophet Margin the High Priest here again. Uh, I want to show you guys some cool, quick tricks on how to get uh, your metronome routed uh, to headphone outputs without being routed to the main output. So if you're doing like live things or or where you want to give the drummer a click without giving anybody else a click, uh, it all depends on how much I/O you have on your on your device. But I'm going to show you how to set that up and it's actually pretty cool I wish Studio One made this a little easier but they don't so uh, I gotta figure it out though so it doesn't matter alright first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually click go down here uh, to where the metronome is and we're gonna click the um, wrench and from where the wrench is you're gonna see where it says render now if you click render and I've already done it if you click render it's gonna render and it's gonna ask you here it's going to ask you if you timeline song start to end or the render loop range so if you have a loop set it'll set it it'll make the uh, the click track as long as the loop so I, I'm not going to do it because I already did it but you need to go ahead and do that click render and make it to either timeline or loop and then it's going to give you the click here now go into studio one uh, and I think it's just options under uh, under Mac and go to studio one options because I'm on PC right now uh, go to song setup and then go to outputs and then you'll see I have, because the way my uh, device is set up, I only have two headphone outputs, so I have those set for Q mixes. Uh, so there's my main, that's my main output. This is DAW mix 3, 4. Uh, Q mix, this goes to output 3 and 4, which is my first headphone output on my Scarlet. Uh, and output 5, 6 is actually the second headphone output on my Scarlet. So make sure that you have those set to that, and make sure you click Q mix for both of those. Uh, if you have this device or QMix for whatever device you have. So let's say you even have a device that you wanted, you know, 16, 8, 16 uh, QMixes. You could do that with this. Okay. Now, here's the cool part. Now, let's say I want to send uh, the click. You, you're going to hear the click. All right. All right. Now, let's say I want to send that click uh, not through the main speakers or whatever, but through to the drummer or to the bass player or whatever. Uh, what I would do and you'll see uh, on here in the QMix you'll see this lock device when you move your fader up and down that's gonna make your um, your uh, QMixes follow your main fader you don't want that with this setup so you wanna un unlock the QMixes and then you wanna turn down the main input now you guys aren't gonna be able to hear it because I don't have it really um, well you might be able to hear it a little bit but I'll play it anyway if you hear that really tiny little click, I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. That's actually a little mini speaker that I bought to do to, to, to test mixes through. It's actually plugged into my headphone output right now. Um, it's outputting metronome, and as you can see, the main fader is not outputting metronome. So I'm not getting metronome into the studio or into anybody else's headphone mixes except for three and four. I'm sorry, three, four, and five and six. Now, if I wanted to turn this one down, that's the one that I had. I don't have another set of headphones connected to three and four right now, but if I turn that up and down, that would also be that. So it's as many Q mixes as you want to set up for metronome, you can do that, and uh, that's actually a really cool way to deal with sending metronome click to uh, your band members if they're if you have if you're recording live. Um, now, of course, you can do it to where you set it up to have you know just a Q mix for your own personal. Uh, self if you're working by yourself or whatever but it's just a cool way to be able to have click in the headphones without having it in the main speakers and vice versa uh, so guys I hope that helped uh, it's a short video but that's a good thing and uh, uh, please ask me any questions and uh, hopefully I can get them answered for you um, and that's it guys have a good day